Hey, good morning folks. Today I wanted to shoot a quick video to show you what's the temperature difference inside of my insulated garage and outside temperatures in the middle of the winter. I'm in Edmonton, Canada right now and we do get a few really extreme cold days like this. It's minus 35 outside. It was minus 39 last night and you'll be able to see that on my screen. So let's walk into insulated garage and see how much we are saving with insulating those walls and ceilings. And this is my thermometer right here. So let's take a look, minus nine. Wow, this is really incredible guys. From minus 35 right here to minus nine. So that's such a big difference all the way from minus 35 to minus nine. That's almost 26 degrees difference what we got between inside of a garage and outside what's really truly amazing and I do go by Celsius but if you guys read Fahrenheit that would be all the way from um, minus 26 to all the way plus 17 in Fahrenheit and that's truly amazing to get such a big difference uh, luckily because I really have this place well insulated and helps me a lot in the winter time and I'm grateful that all the work that I put in I fully recommend insulating your garage that's a great investment you cannot go wrong with that this garage is fairly new built and it was made with a six inch thick studs so i was able to fit in six inch thick insulation bats what's great if you have older garage you might have four inch studs but doesn't matter if insulation bats fiberglass that i use is really gonna help then i covered all of that with a vapor barrier what i used poly for i stapled the poly from top to bottom i used tuck tape as a proper vapor per barrier tape to seal up all the gaps and cuts that I made in the meantime and then I covered it all with the OSB sheets for the OSB sheets I use three quarter of an inch subfloor OSB with a groove and tongue that's the thickest OSB sheets that you're gonna get might be even better to use a plywood but plywood was quite more expensive for me and this is really thick OSB what's gonna help preserving the heat inside of your garage another great thing about these three quarter of an inch OSB sheets these are meant to be used for the subfloor so they have tongue and groove on the ends right here so they lock into each other what's really good because creates really tight seal in between these OSB sheets and then for my garage ceilings I insulated that with the bats I was able to fit the bats to get them stuck right in between the joists put a vapor barrier staple it all over for my joists and then cover it with OSB sheets I did use a little bit thinner OSB sheets 3 8 instead of 3 quarter of an inch because that's what I had available it was quite cheaper and much much lighter so I was able to put it up by myself and that's where I have advice for you if you do it by yourself you're putting OSB on the ceiling or drywall rent a hoist from Home Depot you're gonna get a job much easier and save your back and now I can turn this garage into a shop easily if I need to I do have a garage heater but I don't turn it on if I don't have a project so I did not turn it on for this video as I wanted to show you what's a truly temperature without heating this garage but if you don't have a garage heater and your garage is insulated you can use a space heater let it run for an hour or two and easily heat up your space at least a little bit so it's comfortable to work if you have a project you have to get something done so I do recommend the insulating garage if you are selling your home that's still an investment you're gonna be able to add that to the price of your home and even if you use drywall instead of OSB for your walls and your ceilings as long as you stuff it up with a fiberglass in between you're gonna have your garage warmer for 10 to 15 degrees comparing to the weather outside and if you want to go into extremes and invest more and more money you can even cover it with the OSB or plywood and then cover it with a drywall right over it what I haven't seen anybody doing it yet but if you're really spending lots of time in your garage maybe that's a way to go for you another great thing about OSB comparing to a drywall is you can add as many screws and nails as you want to hang anything you want and later when you remove that that, nobody will notice the holes and you don't have to patch it up like what you have to do with drywall the only thing about insulated garage where you cannot do much is garage door whatever you decide to go with plywood OSB or drywall you're still gonna face the same challenge and a problem what I do and that's a garage door this is 2021 home fairly new so garage doors are insulated but still there is nothing more I can do much about insulating this door and the biggest problem as you know is the seal we don't have a perfect seal here on the top on the bottom and the sides as well so that's where I'm losing the most of the heat but still that's not that much and I'm still happy with the job I got it done thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave the comment down below like and subscribe